Hello there, my beautiful Gemini friends. How are you? Welcome back to Sacred Knowledge Tarot. I am so happy and thankful to each and every one of you for being here with me today. So thank you, everyone. And those of you that are brand new to my channel, hello and welcome. My name is Ria and I do these readings every week. Now, Gemini, I'm going to start your reading off with a passage from this beautiful book called The Luminous Humanness. It's written by Kelly Sullivan Walden. After I read you this passage, I'm going to go ahead and pull three cards out of my tarot deck to see what message Spirit has for you. After that, I'm going to pull a bonus card from the Earth, Moon, and Shadow Oracle deck. Then I'm going to pull an angel number for you as well. So those of you that are seeing angel numbers anywhere in your life right now, this is going to give you your confirmation and guidance. So stay tuned for all of this, my beautiful friends. Now, Gemini, your passage today is called How to Win the Game of Life. What if the shortcut to winning the game of life was to take 100% responsibility for your life? In other words, what if you scored bonus points every time you took ownership of all aspects of that which you are most proud and that which you'd prefer to sweep under the nearest rug? What if the quickest way to lose in the game of life is to blame others for your unhappiness or to give them credit for your happiness? What if it is 100% up to you to make a growing, glowing, colorful, thriving celebration of your life? What if just by contemplating this possibility, you advanced by leaps and bounds across the game board? What a powerful passage for you today, Gemini. Now, this also comes with an affirmation. I'm going to read that to you as well. The dice rolls in my favor when I take 100% responsibility for my life. So feel free to use this affirmation for yourself today. And thank you so much, everyone, for allowing me to share that passage with you today. All right, my beautiful Gemini friends, I just wanted to make a quick announcement here. I am reopening my personal readings October the 15th. So any of you that are interested in booking a personal reading with me, you can find my information in the description box below. All right, my friends, let's pull some cards and see what we get for you today. We're getting the Four of Cups. So this is a really interesting energy because what I'm feeling here is that some of you, perhaps you're very happy in your life, but you're looking for something more. There's this longing, there's this yearning for something. Now, this card can also be related to boredom, stagnation, and I do feel for some of you that is exactly what you're feeling. But I feel there's like this calling towards something so spirit guides are wanting you to listen and follow that intuition follow that calling because it's leading you towards something very big here everyone so what i want you to do here as well gemini is to use your own intuition with my reading so whenever you see my cards popping up on screen i want you to look at the card and try and interpret it using your intuition not only will this strengthen your intuition but you will also receive your own messages all right two of swords so there's a split on your path some of you are at a crossroads there's a fork in the road and there's a lot of thought a lot of decision that you're having to make around this so I do feel that this is a difficult decision for some of you but I feel whatever this path is like it's there's a split it happened for a reason there's something that has come into your life something that has happened that has caused a split on your path and I feel that this new path that has kind of come up is the path that you're meant to walk down we'll take a look look at this card a little bit more okay and remember everyone we all live a different life experience so each of these cards are going to present themselves differently in all of our lives okay and the four of swords gemini's i feel a lot of you are exhausted my friends i'm also a gemini sun a gemini rising I'm feeling this energy. I actually just had my grandson over this weekend and oh my gosh, he's so cute. He's only six months old, but boy, oh boy, does it take a lot of energy to take care of a little baby, right? So I feel the exhaustion energy. And even after that, I was feeling very exhausted. So it could be the weather, but I feel that a lot of you have a lot on your plate and the spirit guides are really wanting you to pause a little bit pull back and slow down. I feel that some of you are also running on an empty tank here, so you need to recharge and rejuvenate your energy, okay? So 
We have two fours in your spread today. So any of you that have been seeing fours anywhere in your life or number twos, this is Spirit Guides calling you to embody the energy of the life path number two and the life path number four or eight. Four plus four is eight. Okay, so I don't know if any of you are already a two, four or eight life path number. They're wanting you to look that up and really dive into what the actual meaning of those life path numbers are and try to embody those energies because these energies are going to help you navigate through whatever it is that you're going through in your life here, Gemini. All right, so let's take a look and see what's going on in your lives here and what kind of guidance you need. So I do feel that some of you, because you are looking for something more, uh, you're longing for something, you're looking for something, something has recently come in that has kind of split your path in half. Um, this could be for some of you uh, a new position, right? This could be a new job offer, an opportunity, a business opportunity. Perhaps you have made a decision around moving in with a partner, shifting your home, shifting your environment, changing into a different neighborhood, uh, relocating. Um, these could be many different things. Some of you just wanted to start a, sh a passion project, right? So I feel that there's something that is coming in that is new. And perhaps you have been bored in your life here, Gemini. Maybe you're just kind of like, I need something new. I need something different. Maybe I need to travel. Maybe I'm going to go to Italy. Maybe I'm going to go to France. Or maybe I'm kind of bored with my job. It's great. It pays good but I just don't enjoy it anymore. I'm looking for something more. Maybe you're in a relationship here, Gemini, and it's past its expiration date. Maybe it's okay and you're kind of like, you know, I'm not feeling fulfilled in this. I'm not feeling satisfied and I need something more. So I feel that some of you are kind of, and it's almost the energy of the grass is greener on the other side. I'm getting that as well. So. Perhaps some of you are in a good relationship and you are like everything's working out perfectly fine for you and you're kind of like, oh, I'm just like, meh, my energy is meh. I'm not feeling full, fulfilled here. I'm not feeling satisfied. I need something more. And there's something there that you kind of have your eye on or perhaps there's something calling out to you. I don't know what this is. Um, spirit guides especially if this is something that you're passionate about something that is going to make your heart sing they're wanting you to follow this they're wanting you to because what's happening here gemini is i'm getting all these different things coming in i'm getting uh, intuitive downloads right now is um i don't know if any of you have been seeing an owl recently i'm seeing an owl hopping around i actually posted one on my instagram page my brother-in-law saw one so now they're showing me that so if you have recently seen an owl, this is letting you know that there's a lot of transformation coming, like there's change, there's a transformation happening in your life. And what else that they're showing me is that some of you have manifested something into your life. You have prayed for something, you have wished for something, you're asking for something and it's now being delivered to you, okay? So that stagnant energy, that boredom energy, whatever this energy is of lack or this energy of not feeling fulfilled or satisfied is is now going to shift a little bit because whatever this is that's coming in because you've been wanting it and desiring it for, long, for so long, it's going to set things off in your life. And I think this is what has kind of split that path on your road because I feel that some of you have made a decision or a choice in your life that you're going to follow this, whatever this is. And spirit guides are kind of, um, those of you that, I don't know why they're showing me this, they're showing me a work setting and they're showing someone in love with somebody or crushing on someone. So this is... Um, this is a uh, very testy waters here. So uh, I always, cause I used to be a manager. I used to manage big, huge uh, specialty dental clinics. And it's not a good idea to do that, everyone. Those of you that are thinking or just feeling a certain way with somebody that you work with, that's never a good idea. So be careful treading on, uh, treading that um, path here, my friends, because I feel that you're going to open up a can of worms uh, with that. So they're wanting some of you to really pull back on that, especially because if you're bored or you're just wanting some sort of excitement, there's other ways of doing it rather than going that route. 
at work. Um, but for others, I feel there's something that is coming in that you have manifested. And this is something really big. And you have made this choice, you have made this decision in your life to actually act on it, get into motion, and this has split your path in half. That's, this is why you're at a crossroads. Some of you have done this without even knowing it. And I feel those of you that have done this, I want you to take a look at the path that you're currently on and I want you to take a look at the new path and I want you to even write down what the pros and cons of this and the pros and cons that you think because you haven't walked down this new path yet, right? What is this path bringing you? There's a lot of unknown, right? There's There could be fears there because you don't know what this is going to look like but remember that growth comes with doing the things that um, feel a little risky, doing things that might not... Um, it's not that, it's kind of, oh, I'm saying this wrong, I apologize. What I'm trying to say here, what am I trying to say here? So, oh, I'm sorry, I'm getting so many things coming in. So there's a lot of different things that a lot of you are doing out there. And, and perhaps, you know what, comment in the comment section below and let me know here because that can help me understand where you are at here, Gemini. But I do feel that um, the fear of the unknown, the more that you can walk towards the unknown it's kind of like having a flashlight right and if you stand still it's it's kind of like looking for the light with a flashlight and anytime you see that little sparkle in the dark in the unknown follow that because there might be more light there and this is what i do in my own life is i look at the unknown i'm very curious i like to explore possibilities uh, I'm very adaptable. I love change. And we Geminis, we love shifting. We're very airy. We're, we love exploration. This is a part of us. So I feel that this new path is there. And even though it feels scary, even though there's a lot of unknown, um, taking that leap of faith, taking that big risk and just going for it. Okay, this is what spirit guides are wanting some of you to do here. And not being afraid to do that any kind of fears anything that is holding you back yes acknowledging that it's there and what's happening here is um some of you are turning your back on something so what i'm getting here is some of you have made a big decision in your life to walk down this new path because it's more in alignment with you it's almost like you've done this cold turkey here gemini i feel that Perhaps you were walking down this road where um, it's not aligned to you. It's not what you wanted, but you're here. You're kind of like, okay, I, I, I end up, ended up here. It's not where I wanted to go. You're realizing this and you're kind of like, okay, you know what? I don't want this anymore. I'm going to turn my back on it. And maybe once once in, in somewhere in your life, it was the right place for you, Gemini. But I feel now it's different. I feel now you want more. You want to explore the possibility. So you're going for it. So I'm seeing you turning your back and following this path that is true to you. And that's exactly what you're doing, some of you, right? And this could be you leaving friendships. I feel that you're ascending here, Gemini. I feel that you're leveling up frequency vibration all of that and you're you're experiencing this letting go like this um energy of people parting ways it's kind of like you're leaving your life behind that you once knew because you made a choice that you're going to now align yourself to your higher path so i feel that some of you have made this decision now um, to walk down this like you turned away you turned or you're doing a complete turnaround here Gemini this is like a big turning point for some of you right it's kind of um, I'm trying to explain this here so say for example you're somebody that used to eat a lot of garbage food you drank your, your life was just not what you wanted it to be maybe you've gained a lot of weight maybe you're not feeling good you're not healthy and all of a sudden one day you wake up and you're kind of like I don't want this anymore I just don't want this and you cold turkey decide that I'm not doing this anymore I'm now going to become a different person and I'm seeing some of you even writing things down like this is who I'm going to be what does this version of me do okay I get up at 5 30 in the morning I get up and exercise I meditate I do all of these things and it's kind of like you just shifted everything and tomorrow you're going to wake up or even this morning you're waking up and you're like okay I'm now this new person 
and that's that's all I'm seeing here with some of you. It's kind of like you just cold turkey did it and now that is your life. And for others, you're kind of working towards that, right? So um, again, the two and fours are coming in and the number eight here for you. And what else am I getting here? I'm getting a Taurus and Cancer energy for you, Gemini. So um, this could be a cusp because they're the cusp energies coming in. So some of you might be on the cusp here, um, but maybe there's um, the sign somewhere in your birth chart, Gemini, or maybe there's somebody in your life that is playing a significant role here. Um, or something has come in with these signs or spirit guides are calling you to embody these energies in order to help you along this path, okay? So you're actually meant to walk down this road. And, you know, I'm somebody that does do things cold turkey too. When I make a decision, I'm just going to do it. And, you know, I, I had decided um, not that long ago to not drink at all. And I'm not a big drinker. I drink casually. So socially, right? And it's anytime I go, I'll have a glass of wine or whatever. But even recently, if I have a glass of wine, it just doesn't sit well with me. And it's maybe because of my age now, as I'm getting older, my body is changing and it's not sitting well with me, including creams, all that kind of stuff, creamy food. My body is shifting. So I have decided that I'm just going to cold turkey, just not do that anymore. For some people, that's hard. And that social pressure that comes with adjusting your life as well, right? Even friends, you know, why aren't you drinking anymore, Rhea? What's wrong with you? Don't you want to have fun? It's like, no, I don't need to have fun if, if, if that involves alcohol. I don't need alcohol to have fun, right? It's that kind of energy. So I feel that some of you have this pressure from people around you uh, about this transformation that you're going through because they might not be understanding it. And that's not your problem, Gemini. That has nothing to do with you. So I feel that some of you need to just tune out those voices and just follow your path and continue on, on that road because you're aligning to a completely different world, a completely different soul tribe people and things that are more aligned to you, okay? This is opened up for you in a big way. And I feel that um, as you're going through this process, because you're lining up, you're going to see a lot of different things happening. I also feel there's a lot of signs coming at you, not only numbers, like angel numbers, there's owls, right? Maybe you're seeing animal spirits around you. So comment in the comment section below. Let me know what it is that you're seeing that are giving you signs. These could be on license plates, billboards. Maybe there's cloud formations. Um, maybe something has come into your awareness recently um, that is not normal in your area or your environment. But this is the reason why it's coming in is because the universe is trying to communicate with you. Spirit gods are trying to communicate with you right now. And I also feel that a lot of you are living very busy lives. Like there's a lot of like what I'm feeling here is you know that that uh, video online or images that we see with one person standing still in Times Square in New York and everything is just moving really quickly? That's what I feel I'm seeing right now. So I feel for some of you, it's that very busy, busy energy and spirit guides are wanting you to slow down. Those of you that are seeing red lights a lot, you know, when you drive to work or you're coming home and you're in a big rush and you keep hitting those red lights, that's a sign. Slow down, Gemini. Um recharge your energy here as well because I feel a lot of you are running on empty and this is taking a toll on your health and your mental health so it's all about recharging however you do that I like to sometimes I like taking showers um, that really calms my body down right using water to clear energies and ground myself so I'll usually take a shower a really nice warm shower a long shower or even soak in a tub and then I like to sit in bed I don't it, it doesn't matter if it's a really hot day or whatever it is my bed is a very comforting place for me so I'll lay in bed and I'll read a book I'll just just allow myself to rejuvenate my energy right and allow myself to just veg and calm and not have any expectations on myself so this is what spirit guides want you to do here as well meditation is going to be really good i don't know if any of you are scryers out there if you use water to scry um i don't know why that's coming up but i feel there's messages coming through dreams and things once you kind of slow your yourself down um, you're going to receive messages there's some guidance coming through this is going to come through some of your dreams so i want you to write your dreams down because i do feel that this new path 
is re revealing itself um, through your dreams. It's like this new emotion that some of you are feeling. It's like this new, it's, it's this calling, this longing, this yearning. This could have been for a long time for some of you. And I'm seeing some of you washing your face in the morning. So I'm seeing someone washing their face, looking in the mirror every morning, and there's this emotion, and I can't explain the emotion because I've never felt this emotion before. So there's this feeling there, and you're looking in the mirror, and you're kind of questioning it. You're looking at your life. You're looking at the future. You're looking at everything. So this is where spirit guides want you to um, just take a moment for yourself. Some of you need to take a holiday or just get away on yourself, uh, uh, get away on your own. Um, go into the hermit mode just for a little bit, even if you're going out to the cabin in the woods, just to get some peace and rest. And I do feel for some of you, you need to be out, out in nature, like nature is calling you, um, which is so powerful because not only are you seeing nature in your life, animals, insects, clouds, even some of you are experiencing like uh, weather changes, like drastic weather changes. Um, but it's, it's, it's this energy um, that's there that is kind of wanting your attention, Gemini. So I don't know if any of you are understanding what I'm kind of saying here, but it's kind of like Everything around you is trying to communicate with you right now, um, asking a lot of you to slow down because there's messages coming through. Uh, you need to slow things down, quiet your mind because you're aligning to something here, something much greater than you. Okay, so this is opening you up to this new path. It's it's some of your manifesting this. So you're feeling that transformation energy, that, that manifestation taking form. So sometimes what can happen is our, our world can feel a little bit chaotic around this transformation time as this manifestation is taking form. And what spirit guides want you to do is ground yourself, slow yourself down a little bit so you can gain control of your senses, of your emotions, um, and just stand strong through this turbulent energy that is kind of sweeping over you right now, Gemini. So those of you that are experiencing it know that there are some big changes coming in for the better. And I feel whatever it is that you've been wanting to manifest in your life is coming into fruition here. So this is something really good that's happening. Stand strong in your power right now. Allow this formation to take place because not only are you evolving, everything around you is evolving, okay? So that is your message through the tarot cards. I'm now going to pull a bonus card for you. And sometimes this can be a really good clarifier. This is the Earth, Moon, Shadow, Oracle deck, everyone. So I'm going to pull one card. I'm going to read you the interpretation from the guidebook here, okay? So we've got three cards falling out. I'm going to put these back in and shuffle them. And let's see what Spirit Guides would like you to know today, Gemini. So sacred law, ritual, boundaries, and practice. So look at that, Gemini. So I'm going to read you the interpretation. There's that forest. There's that journal, writing, calming things down, slowing things down, the manifestation, the prayer, whatever it is that you're doing right now. It could be a ritual. And you've um, manifested something through a ritual here. So sacred law, everyone. Prior to starting any ritual, Buddhists and witches alike must Open, then close the container. A container is a sacred, sacred space where energy is gathered and protected. Whether casting a circle with stones or wand or closing the meditation room door in practice, it's sacred law. When sacred law appears in a reading, it is asking us to be mindful of our container, our spiritual container. One thing we are poorly taught is how to establish boundaries. We often let others walk all over us because we fear saying no. That people-pleasing, self-sacrificing shadow can often be a difficult one to see for how, for how could it possibly be bad to give and be kind to others? And I feel this is aligning with the Four of Swords. It's that energy of overwhelm. It's like too many things all at once. To answer this, let us refer to one of the most cringeworthy childhood stories, The Giving Tree by Shel Silverstein. On the surface, the stories about a loving tree that gives with all of its heart and soul seems sweet and lovely. However, it quickly becomes a horror story as a selfish man takes and takes with no regard for the poor tree until the tree is nothing but a literal stump. It's very sad and horrifying.
Sacred law is a collective unconscious asking us to begin working on our boundaries. We must remove the trained response of guilt and shame that arise when we think about taking a break or doing something for ourselves. Let us create a sacred ritual of replenishment. This can be as simple as taking time regularly to go for a walk, work on a new spiritual practice, or even play basketball. Whatever we decide, we need to commit to making the replenishment of our souls a new sacred law in our lives. For how can we possibly hope to serve others if there is nothing left of us but a stump? So what a powerful message. And I feel this is aligning really well with the Four of Swords for you because I do feel that some of you are running on empty, that you haven't had you time, and it's now time to incorporate that for yourselves and make it a sacred law that you do this every single day. My nightly ritual, my nightly uh, reading time is my time alone. My husband, I live with my husband, I live with my sister-in-law, brother-in-law, and my son. Uh, my two daughters have moved away, they're both married, and I feel that, you know, my family gives me me time. My husband especially, he leaves me alone. So I feel that some of you kind of have to create this and ask for this, not even ask for this. You don't need to ask for anything here, Gemini. Just uh, make it uh, a sacred law in your home that this is my time and I do not want to be disturbed, okay? So I'm now going to pull in an angel number for you. Some of you have been seeing angel numbers. This is going to give you your confirmation. And for others, you can use this as an affirmation. So look at this, triple zero, I am a creator. You, Gemini, are creators. We all human beings are creators in this world. And it's now time to tap into that energy. So whether this is you creating a sacred law to really uh, dive deep into your passion project or create a business, it's now time to create, my friends. Let me read you the message on this card. You are one with the creator and there are no limits to what you can achieve, Gemini. You have the ability to create something new and incredible in your lifetime here on Earth. So look at that. What a powerful message here for you. So if you've been seeing zeros anywhere in your life, this is your confirmation. All right. So if this reading resonates for you, please comment below, hit that like button. And if you're brand new to my channel and you're enjoying my content, please consider subscribing. Other than that, I wanted to wish you all a beautiful day and thank you so much for watching.